Well, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. I just call it Transformational Tuesday. It's always a nice little time to take a little break and think about where we're at in our lives, right? So, which leads me to my topic for today. You know, I think sometimes um, we get reflective, right, around this time of year. It's the holidays and, you know, we could start to really sit and think about like, you know, what am I doing? Where am I going? You know, what, how can I improve myself? You know, things like that. So maybe it's time, since in the spirit of reflective times during the holidays, maybe it's time to pause and ask yourself, what is my why, right? And Simon Sinek, who I love, um, shares that your why is the purpose, cause, or belief that drives every one of us. And I wholeheartedly <laughs> believe that. <laughs> so what is your why? So we're not, I hope anyway, we're not here on this planet just to survive, right? That would suck. We want to enjoy our life. We want to thrive in our life. And thriving means understanding your purpose and your why. So while there's no pathway really for discovering life's purpose, there are many ways you can gain a deeper insight into yourself and on a larger perspective of what it is that you have to offer the world. I mean, I know you're surprised at me going, what? Yeah, you have that power. So I've done some research and there's some questions to ask yourself to help you discover your own why. So first things first, so grab a pen, paper, and you can use your laptop, you can use your phone. There's something very magical Going old school, right? But if you'd like, you'd prefer to type it up, that's also okay. So, um, so I'd like you to start by making a list that answers some or perhaps all of the questions that I'm about to ask you, okay? Ready? Okay, here we go. So the question to ask yourself when determining your why. First one is, what is it that I would do if money wasn't an issue? Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. So the question again is, what is it that I would do if money wasn't an issue? Okay, second question. What would I do for free? Right, what would I do for free? Okay, next one. This one's a good one. This has happened to me on a few occasions, but when I wanted to go in one direction, but people talked me out of it, what did I want to do? Where did I want to go? Okay, so again, when I wanted to go in one direction, but people talked me out of it, what did I want to do? Okay, next one. What do I think I'd be good at? You know, sometimes this one's interesting because we're so hard on ourselves. And we know if we really start to delayer ourselves, I should actually do this by the heart, delayer ourselves and take away the fear and all that stuff, you know what you're good at. You know what you're good at. Okay, so I answer that question. What do I think I'd be good at? The next question, what do I love doing? Now, when I say what do I love doing, when I'm doing this, I don't, I lose track of time. I don't, what time is it? Oh, shoot, I've been doing this for five hours. So what do I love doing? You're not watching the clock, okay? What, next question, what do I believe strongly in? What is some, what do I believe strongly in? Okay, and the last one is, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? Now, this is a big one too. Because sometimes that right there, that question itself, holds us back from discovering our why and our purpose. So what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? Okay? All right. Now, going back to the question, money wasn't an issue, right? So when people talk about you know, winning the lottery, they often say, if I win the lottery, I would never work again, move to the beach, and do nothing, right? Well, it sounds great in theory, but we all need purpose to identify with. So maybe moving to the beach after you win the lottery would be really fun, but what would you miss? You'd miss that interaction with people, your family, that connection, right? So when people lose their sense of purpose, be it at a job, surrounded by family, being a parent, they also lose their innate desire for living. This is how important this is, okay? Lots of depression can happen, so it's really important to find your purpose and your why. So 
Now that you have a list of things you would do if all the obstacles were removed, prioritize this list in order of which items you feel are the ones that most speak to you or call out to you. So, you know, um, maybe it's playing the guitar, photography, coaching others, teaching, um, whatever it is, community, whatever it is, okay? So let's, let's make, use an example, one that's close to me. So perhaps you choose coaching <laughs> as the top priority on your list. And as you start taking baby steps in that direction, you ultimately figure out that your why behind that is really helping others realize their biggest dreams and goals. So it's like you're, now you're starting to see, so my why is coaching, but why is that coaching? It's because I'm helping others achieve their goals and potentially helping them figure out their why. That's big, right? So now in terms of taking action on the list items, and this could be the scary part for a lot of people, is, is really, mm, how do I say this, is figure out what the baby steps look like in relation to your item list. Okay, so for example, if we're going back to coaching, perhaps the baby steps include, I'm going to research this program, this coaching program. I am going to reach out people that are coaches, coaches already. I'm going to buy them lunch, pick their brain. Perhaps I'll hire a coach, right? So you're just, you're doing all these little things in order to get to your why, right? So it, w once you've outlined all those baby steps, right, it's time to start taking those small um, steps that bring you closer to the items on the list. So that way, it's not as scary as jumping into the, the big item, right? So it's small things. And also, we talked about this last week, in the spirit of celebration and the small wins, right? Reward yourself each time you successfully take another baby step, as this will help you motivate, help motivate you to do what? To keep doing it, right? So if it's, it's coaching and I had lunch today with the coach and pick their brain, celebrate. Okay. Nice job, Karen. Way to go. I'm one thing off the list, right? So it's like the key goal here is to start striking items off the list until one really lights your fire and reveals the area that serves your why, okay? Just when you're looking at that list and you see something and all of a sudden pay attention to what's happening to you physiologically, you know, your heart racing, and you're getting so much joy behind it, pay attention to those things. Now, although this exercise isn't guaranteed, when you consider that so many people live their entire lives without discovering their purpose and their why, you know, while so many have accomplished so much in serving their why, isn't it worth taking this small journey, right? What do you have to lose? You have only things to gain. If you were going to do this exercise, or I should say when you do this exercise, and you're like, oh my God. So what I've been doing at work, it really is my purpose and passion. I just have to think about it differently. It could be something so slight and shifting. It doesn't have to be something completely different. It could also be hobbies, community, family. It could be so much, so be really open to this, okay? And once you determine your why, which is very exciting, by the way, keep your why close by. Keep your why close by. I have a um, card on my um, dresser that says, you are a coach. You are a coach. And you are a speaker. You know, and it's just, I just need those, those three words, six, to really keep me motivated and keep me going, right? So keep your why close by, all right? So I hope this helped everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Thanksgiving, it's a wonderful time of year. This is my favorite holiday. So embrace it, embrace each other. Um, smile at strangers. You never know what people are going through, you guys, okay? Big love, see you next week. We've got lots of stuff to talk about. We're gonna talk about habits, good habits right? How to keep those going and how to, how to stay on track. Um, all right. Have a great week. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week and happy holidays. Talk soon. Bye-bye.